Hey guys, that's the guy, right? This is the big boy. 105 mil, a Nikon, a Nikkor 2.5. Amazing lens. That's the lens that I use for this footage, and that's the lens that I mount in my Helmont, which I mount in my Panasonic. Um, and because this guy is very old, you have to adapt it. You have to adapt it for the, probably you can adapt if you use Sony or Canon, probably you can adapt it without problem. Actually, not exactly without problem, because what we have here, that's, uh, like I said, a Nikon Nikkor, which is 105 mil and 2.5, okay. Uh, but in my case, I have the non-AI version which is a version before the AI version and the Nikon F, they made all the mod working with the new AI version, AI S. And if you want to use the adapters, which the modern adapters, they uh, they more suitable for a normal Nikon F uh, AI system, okay? There's a system uh, which communicate with the uh, old analog cameras, right? So if you use the non-AI, which is the model before, uh, you have to do a small adapting in, in the lens, okay? Which is a shame because it's a beautiful piece of glass and, and for me it was, um, it was a shame that we have to touch it. But anyway, that's not mean that we are ruining the image or the crystal itself, which produce amazing images. I just love it. I just love it. For me, that's my favorite lens now uh, for portrait, which was 105, I never think about 105 actually. Um, I work with 135 and 85, but now that's that's the favorite for me. That's 105 for portrait, it's just amazing lens. And it's not like, for example, I don't know why, but I'm feeling with my 135, uh, I cannot go around the street and take a picture and then with the 85 yes I can do it but I just don't like the 85 uh, focal range right 135 have something I don't I actually I can try to explain but, but it's not going to be uh, you know accurate so have something that I cannot explain right but the images are beautiful first of all the 105 then the crystal by itself it's amazing, it's amazing, just so natural color. But then, talking about a lens which is coming from uh, probably 60s, 70s, uh, you, the first thing that is coming in your mind that we're going to have nice pictures with a beautiful bokeh, but not contrast. And that's not the case here. In 2.5, most of the footage that you just uh, saw was took in 2.5. And it's a quite sharp actually. It's a quite sharp in 2.5, which is amazing for vintage lens, right? Um, I cannot say much about this lens. I can say that if you have a, if you have option or you have opportunity to take one, take it, uh, and you're going to enjoy it for sure. Um, mine, I get it from 190 euro, which is quite expensive for this lens. But I'm, I was happy because. There was a first vintage lens that I bought from uh, from the shop directly and not from, from internet. And I was very lucky because this guy solved the problem that I have with the mount, right? If I was buying from online, I have to do this kind of modification by myself, and which which is not the case, you know, I'm not this kind of guy. Um, now, again, 190, that's a euro. Um, I don't know how much it's going to be in dollars, but you can find it in internet, you can find it in some, I'm going to leave a links uh, where you can find this lens for about 150 and 200 in very good condition. Mine is very good condition, you know, a good condition inside, which is the more important for me, right? But, let me see that I can move the aperture ring. There we go, we can move the aperture ring, perfect. Uh, very good in condition, the crystal is in very good condition, but the body not so much, which I don't, I just don't care. You can see that the body have a little bit of scratches. But hey, this lens is from 70, so what you expect. Now, 
if you want to spend a little bit more money, right? Well, take the a AI version. Oh, the AI have some kind of special coding. This one don't have, which doesn't really matter because the image here is amazing, right? So enough is enough. I hope so that you enjoyed it and we see you in the next video similar than that one. Bye.